everyone and this is going to be a quick video on uh, what you're going to do after you inevitably hit a limit switch um, using uh, your silverback or mandrill so if you're new and haven't hit a limit switch and don't understand them yet this is going to be a very good video for you to watch and it, even if you have a couple carves under your belt and you're going to move to thicker material or cutouts um, you might run into hitting your Z limits uh, when uh, pulling off of your Z probe or trying to cut out your material mid carve and that uh, that last little bit is just a little too much depth for your Z axis to reach and you go too far and uh, trip that limit switch so uh, a couple things you're gonna notice a, a resume pause reset button on the front of the silverback uh, this is also on our mandrill uh, control boxes uh, I believe on the top of them uh, we have a control knob a speed control knob that controls this the the amount of voltage going to our 500 watt spindle only so if you're using the Makita router uh, this will not control anything on the Makita so you will have to control that separately on the router itself and we have an e-stop always get be in the habit uh, the number one cause for no communication between uh, your sending software and your machine is this is more than likely depressed so always get in the habit of just turning that making sure that it's uh, that it isn't um, depressed and it's reset so now in easel you have your your jog movement menu and when you first open it when you first connect to your uh, your machine it's going to tell you that you need to be homed or unlocked in order to jog uh, you can home it to start if that makes you comfortable uh, we don't need to in this instance we can just unlock it and we'll have free movement so you can see I'm moving freely right now but if you're first starting out you're going to be playing around and then you're going to hit a limit and if you're unfamiliar with these machines you're not going to know why um, it's a very simple process a lot of people think you have to uh, completely power down the machine and close out of easel you do not all you have to do is push this reset button right here that I pointed out earlier push it and you're going to come right back to the machine must be homed or unlocked in order to jog click unlock move away from the limit switch that you hit in this case I hit the upper Z limit switch so now I got to jog down now it's going to click again again disengaging the limit switch uh, stopping uh, the controller telling you telling the controller that it has been depressed but with when it stops that signal it's going to freeze again so you'll have to reset another time and then click unlock one more time now you're free to move around the same happens if you end up hitting the lower limit switch it's the exact same so it won't go up hit the reset unlock jog up it's going to reset again unlock jog up and it works the exact same for the Y limits and the X limits one thing I have noticed with easel and this is an easel issue and not uh, a machine uh, issue um, if you do hit a limit switch and you don't realize it at first and you continue to try to move and you send a bunch of uh, signals through easel it's going to freeze so as soon as I hit this reset button the unlock button is not going to work anymore but that's because you sent too much information through the software and it doesn't know what to do anymore it's trying to figure itself out now a hard reset by just pulling uh, your USB cable out will work You can click unlock and then you can go through this process all over again.
it's that easy um, other sending softwares uh, once you get more advanced uh, you don't have to use the reset button anymore uh, it controls that all through the software itself but in the case of ease uh, for easel and uh, newer users uh, this is the quickest best way for you to get back to carving if you hit a limit switch thanks for watching jungle